Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video, I will demonstrate how to configure Azure Key Vault in AKS cluster. This video divided into two parts. In the first video, we are going to configure Azure Key Vault in AKS cluster and in the second part of video, we are going to fetch Postgre database password from Key Vault. Now before we proceed, let's first understand what is secret. So when working with a distributor application, it is very complicated to manage a sensitive information like password, connection and, simil and similar data. Now Kubernetes allow you to secure this data with a resource called a secret. Kubernetes secret encode their data in a base64 format. Although base64 isn't an encryption algorithm, you can easily decode it. Now to prevent your sensitive information, we are going to use Azure Key Vault instead of Secret. Now, what is Azure Key Vault? So, Azure Key Vault is a cloud service for securing, storing, and accessing the secret. A secret is anything that you want to tightly control, access, access such as API key, password, certificate, or a cryptography key. And you can use a CSI driver to access this secret information into the AKS cluster. So AKS cluster is cannot directly fetch or retrieve the data from Key Vault. Now to access the Key Vault data, we need to enable the CSI driver as well as we need to create a secret provider class where we need to define the Key Vault information. Also to establish a connection Either we need to enable the system system assign identity or manage identity. In this demonstra demonstration, we will go with the manage identity. And in, in this video, we are going to perform following steps. First, we are going to create a key vault. Second, we are going to enable the key vault in AKS. Third, we are going to enable the CSI driver. Fourth, we are going to enable the system as an identity or manage identity here we will go with the manage identity fifth we are going to create a secret provider class and sixth we are going to create a pod and we are going to mount or mount this key vault value so let's get start so now let's create a key vault first so let me open the portal go to the key vault and create key vault Select the resource group, give the name AKS Demo Postgres. And go to the next. Here select the permission model Vault Access Policy. Review and create. Deployment is succeed. Click go to resource and here in key vault you can configure three object either key secret and certificate in this demo we are going to configure the secret so click on secret click on generate and give the name so postgres postgres uh, pw password and give the password okay and click create button now here you can see we have generated one set uh, one secret and the name of the secret is postgre pw so now let's go to the note so first step is completed now in the second step we need to enable the key vault add-on in aks cluster so for that, let me open the Visual Studio code and this is a command az aks, az AKS enable add-on, add-ons Azure Key Vault secret provider. Give the name of your cluster, AKS demo and the resource group. So let me copy this and open the terminal and click enter. Now it will take two to three minutes. Let's wait. So 
So the second step is successfully completed. We have enabled the add-on, key vault provider add-on in AKS. Now let's quickly verify. So let me open the lens and here if you select the cube system namespace and uh, just click on this edge. Now here you can see the AKS secret store CSI driver, AKS secret store provider is successfully installed in AKS. Also, you can verify using this cube curtail command. So let me select this and let me open the terminal. See here you can see the AKS secret store CSI driver and AKS secret store provider are successfully running. Now the third step. So let me open the node. So we have this first step is completed. We have enabled the CSI driver. Now we are going to enable this uh, system assign identity or manage identity. Now here let's quickly check. So go to the portal. Go to the AKS cluster. And uh, go to the namespace. So now if you want to go with the first option we then you have to select the virtual machine scale set and select the identity and here you can you have to on this system assign identity but we will go with the manage identity so for that let's whenever you enable the azure key vault provider in aks by default it will create this manage identity so we are going to use this identity to access the key vault information so select this identity so first click on this identity and go to the azure role assignment and add the role assignment here select the scope key vault resources aks demo postgres kv and give the role. So here we are going to go give the role key vault certificate officer and click save. After that, select the virtual virtual machine scale set and again click the identity. Go to the user assign identity and just verify it. Now it is available. After that, Go to the key vault, go to the access policy, create a cre click create button, uh, click select all secret management operation, next and find the Azure key vault provider manage identity name, next, next and create. Okay, so now we have given the required permission on a key vault side as well as, as well as Kubernetes side. Now the fourth step, let's quickly check. So here we have this step is done now. Now we are going to create a secret provider class. So I I have I already have a YAML file. So let me copy this YAML file go to the lens create a resource and give the name so our key vault name is AKS AK, AKS demo post KV. so just change the name copy and paste our object our object name is go to secret object name is post create pwd the object type is secret now the tenant id so the tenant id is the directory id of the key vault so go here go to the overview and copy this id And here user assign identity so manage identity 
so go here copy this name or go to the kubernetes cluster go to the namespace go to the resource group sorry not namespace and copy this name and click here and copy this application id and create so we have uh, create the secret provider class after that we are going to create the last step we are going to create a pod so we i have already created the pod yaml file and here we are going to use this busybox uh, image and here you can say in the volume section in the volume section let me open this secret provider class so in the volume section we are going to provide the secret provider class name okay and in the volume mount we are going to mount that okay so copy this open the lens verify the secret provider class name so our secret provider class name is this one okay and click create and here you can see busybox pod deployed successfully so now let's fetch the data from the key vault so for that we are going to use kubectl command so open the terminal let me clear the screen and kubectl give the pod name so this is my pod name so let me copy this and paste and give the file mount address so our file mount address is this one slash uh, mnt slash sec, uh, secret store so ls click enter now here you can see the postgre pw so our secret name is also postgre pw it means that we have successfully established the connection between aks and key vault now let's fetch the data so here instead of ls i am going to use cat and let me copy this and here you can see the value is password it's because we have configured the value password here so this is a simple way to fetch the data from key vault in the next video we are going to fetch the password postgre database password from key vault thank you very much see you in the next video